My name is Diana Ju. Hi, my name is Umber Mehta. Hi, my name is Leonie Badger. Hi, my name is Greg Tao. Hi, my name is Hallie Cho. And my company is Smart. I was the founder of MIT Inworks. I'm one of the co-founders of Full End Style. And we're Autoclave. So it turns out that in the developing world, everybody cooks their food in a pressure cooker like this one, and they're very, very cheap. And this can also be used to sterilize medical instruments, and it works just as well as the hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of autoclaves that you have at MGH or other large US-based hospitals. And what we've added to that system is a little sensor that can monitor the internal conditions to make sure that it's heated up appropriately, and uh, a cycle monitor that tells the user what to do, when to do it, when the process is finished, and if they did it correctly or not. And we've worked over the last year in Nepal, distributed over 20 of these, over 15 are still in use, and people really love this cycle monitor because it speaks in their local language, and it's just cool electronics. What we're trying to do with Full End Style is to build a fashion house that focuses on corporate wear for the African middle class worker. We believe that everyone should look good earning their paycheck but doesn't have to spend their entire paycheck looking good. What we are providing is a Full End Style kit which includes the customer's chosen half finished garments and the buttons, zips and other accessories that they need to complete it. The, the customer can then take this to the tailor and have the, their own tailor finish it for them. Um, Ghana, Senegal and other West African countries have lots of small scale but skilled tailors and we believe that by incorporating them into our business model we'll be able to impact a lot of tailors while serving our African customers. MIT Inworks is a free science and engineering program held during the summer for underserved middle school students in Cambridge and Boston. So I realized when I came to MIT that one of the biggest reasons why I really wanted to do science engineering was because of the science engineering programs I was fortunate to be able to go to when I was in middle school that really fostered my interest in these fields. And so I wanted to provide a similar opportunity to other children to also foster their interest in these fields but who may have not had the role models and the very strong family support system I had growing up that pushed me to pursue these opportunities. Smart gives rural retail shops access to essential technologies that improve their customers' lives. When I was a senior at MIT, I took MIT's D-Lab, and I saw all of my classmates making great technologies for the poor, but when I went into the field, I saw that people who were supposed to be benefiting from these technologies were not actually benefiting from them. So this sparked an interest in me about technology dissemination, and I decided to pursue my graduate studies here at MIT in order to research this. So I think when people think of MIT, they often think of, I don't know, like cars and carbon nanotubes and, you know, amazing gizmos that we're not really sure what they're for. Um, but really, so many of our MIT students come in the door passionate about service, so we start working from them, you know, from the moment that they're a freshman, we have some, some big programs that students get involved in in the local communities, and we keep involved with the students throughout their time here, and, and so many of them really have this passion to take what they're learning at MIT and apply it in the world, but also to say, look, I've, I've had this great privilege, I've been able to come to this great university, and I can take what I'm learning here and apply it elsewhere. And, and in a real sense, I think a lot of students feel they have a responsibility to do that. So it's not just, you know, amazing abstract gizmos. It really is real projects for the real world. And that's what we're seeing so many MIT students doing today and excited to be doing with their careers and with their academics.